worship service this morning. Thank you. And welcome those on YouTube, on Zoom, those on the phone, and those here in the sanctuary. Do we have any visitors with us today? Praise the Lord. We want to thank the Lord for our wonderful and successful VBS. Hallelujah. We want to give a special thanks to Gloria Murray for her awesome leadership. She did a wonderful job for the first time leading for uh, VBS. Thank you, Gloria. We want to thank you to the, thank you. We want to give thanks to the teachers and assistants for their time sharing God's word with the youth. Thanks to those who made donations. We want to continue to pray for our pastor's sur uh, surgery recovery and for the first lady who is in his, care, his caregiver. The announcements for this week are as follows. Landon's baby delegation will be next, dedication will be next Sunday uh, towards the end of the service. That's on July the 9th. The ministry heads need to turn in their plans for evangelism for by next Sunday, which is July the 9th. The ministry heads meeting will be held on the third Sunday following the worship service, which is July the 16th. Okay? WMU will meet on um, July the 11th at 7 p.m. on Zoom. And I think that these are the announcements for this week. Everybody have a safe and blessed week and a 4th of July celebration. Be safe. Thank you. Good morning, church, again, for those that didn't hear me. Our scripture is going to come from the book of Psalms, Psalms 91, verses 1 to 4, and it reads as follows. A song of praise to God coming in judgment. It said, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name, proclaim the goodness, good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared among all gods. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads here. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we come, dear Heavenly Father, let us sing a new song to you, dear Heavenly Father. And dear Heavenly Father, let all the earth hear us singing to you, dear Heavenly Father. And as we go forth in the service, dear Heavenly Father, today, dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless all that are here, all that are on the way here, dear Heavenly Father, even continue to bless the ones that didn't make it, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come, we pray for those that are sick, dear Heavenly Father. We pray for a recovery and that you make them whole again, dear Heavenly Father. We also pray for the man of the hour who you have called, dear Heavenly Father, to send a message through, dear Heavenly Father. We ask that you touch him from his head to his toe. And dear Heavenly Father, that you move the flesh up out of the way, but be behind the cross, dear Heavenly Father, so that the spirit will come forth, dear Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, as we come, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on that cross, dear Heavenly Father, was buried in his grave and rose up on the third day with all power, dear Heavenly Father. For those who accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, we give thanks to that, dear Heavenly Father. May that be a blessing on the reading and the hearing of his word. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, Forest Heights. If you would, please stand and join with us as we celebrate not only our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, but we celebrate this amazing weekend as we're all self, so many of us are celebrating Fourth of July. Our hymn is found on page 634. You may stand. My 
country tis of the sweet land of liberty of the I seek land where my fathers died land of the pilgrim's pride from every mountain side let freedom ring my native country the land of the noble free thy name i love i love thy rocks and rills thy woods and templed hills my heart with rapture thrills like that above verse four our fathers god to the author of liberty do thee we sing long may our land be bright with freedom's holy light protect us by thy might great god our king thank you you may be seated and as we prepare for our offering the ushers will be passing the offering tray we're reminded that you can't beat god giving no matter how hard you try You can't beat, you can't be God-giving, no matter how you try, and just as sure as you are living, and the Lord is in heaven, on high the more you give the more he gives to you just keep on giving because it's really true that you can't beat god giving no matter how, how you try. We give we give because we are blessed and we're blessed because we give. Therefore we shall never go without. Eternal God, our Father, we're grateful for yet another opportunity to come into your household of faith. We thank thee, Father, for the opportunity to give, and not only give, but your word says to give cheerfully, for you love a cheerful giver. We ask that these offerings be for the use in your kingdom. And now by thee, O God, who have made us in the Holy Spirit, that comforts us, do I pray and say, Amen.
Amen. Would you please stand for praise God from whom all blessings flow? Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. will be our song before the sermon is love lifted me it's found on page 546 you may sing along if you like i was sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters lifted me, now say, am I? Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me, love lifted me. Love lifted me when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. All my heart to him I give, ever to him I'll cling. In his blessed presence live, ever his praises sing. Love so mighty and so true merits my soul best song. Faithful, loving service to, to him belong. Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Souls in dangers look above, Jesus completely saves. He will lift you by his love out of the angry waves. He's the master of the sea, billows always they. He your savior wants to be, be saved today. Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Amen. 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 Love lifted me. Love lifted me. Forest Heights Baptist Church, God bless you. We believe that the Bible was written by men divinely inspired. And it is a perfect treasure for heavenly instructions. That it has God as its author. Salvation for its end. Truth without any mixture of error for its matter. Therefore it is a book that we shall all be judged by and shall remain until the end of the earth. We are in the process of celebrating. It's kind of quiet in here this morning. Where, 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 where are we at this morning? I love to praise him, I love to praise his name, I love to praise him, I love to praise his name, I love to praise him, 
I love to praise his name. Oh, I love to praise his holy name. Oh, he's my rock, he's my rock. My rock, my sword and shield. He's a wheel, he's a wheel. In the middle of the wheel. And I know, I know he'll never. Never, Never let me down. down, he's such a jewel. He's just a jewel and I have found. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I love, love to praise his name. His name. Oh, oh, hallelujah. 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 I, I love, love to praise his name. Oh, oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. 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 I, I love to praise his name. Oh, I love to praise his holy name. God bless you. God bless you. Grace and peace be unto you. Grace and peace be unto you. In the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, who is the Christ, we are mindful and prayerful of our pastor, and not only our pastor, but of our first lady, that God continues to strengthen them, and we look forward to their return. Uh, I uh, had an opportunity to speak on several occasions last week. Make no mistake about it, our pastor is up. I spoke with him on several occasions last week. He is up on the happenings of the church. He is not, he may be physically not here, but he is here with us uh, in spirit. Amen. And so we thank God and uh, we ready ourselves soon and very soon for his return. Men, uh, yoke fellow Baptist men, we will reconvene in the month of August on August the 26th. It is the last Saturday uh, in the month of August. I want you to all to enjoy your summer uh, vacation. Certainly this month have safe travels as many of us are planning on traveling. Uh, it's good to see Brother Boykins back in the house. Uh, he was, yeah, go ahead. He was a little under the weather, but God, but God brought him back at the appropriate time. What a week we had last week. In our VBS, we had an opportunity, and I praise God, Sister Angie, you know, he who has started a good work in you shall see it through to its completion. We thank God for you as she is uh, at the head of the missions at this time, and our VBS directress, Sister Gloria Murray, did a fabulous job. I know it was spoken on earlier, but we can't give you enough praise for the job that you did. And to our teachers, I was uh, impressed with the youth that we had. We had an overflow of youth. And uh, certainly that is always a good sign where we look forward to our youth. And we want to encourage our youth as Ed had a class full and so we are thankful for him our audio and video to the deacons you guys did a wonderful job and to our hostesses you all did such a wonderful job and we're thankful for yet another opportunity to have shared in our VBS we are looking at Independence Day and there is a word from God before I go any further let me pray eternal God our Father I'm thankful for yet another opportunity to speak your word father I ask that you touch my mind that you move my lips that you touch my heart that you anoint me at this very special moment give me that which I stand in the need of let it be none of me and all of thee it is in the name of Jesus that I pray and say, 
Amen. 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 Our scripture today will come from the book of John. We are in the book of John. We are in the eighth chapter of John. starting at the 31st verse. That's John chapter 8. Starting at the 31st verse. And it is our custom to stand. Can we stand prior to the reading of the word? Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth and not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. Uh, 36 in our concluding verse. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Please be seated. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. How many of us know that freedom is not free? Freedom comes at a price. Those who have served, can I just see your hand, those who have committed served in the service in any form as any God bless your heart God bless your heart we applaud you we recognize you we thank you for your service we thank you for your service it was because of you all that we didn't have to you guys stood on the lines you guys took the place of us where we could sit back and have the opportunity to be free. As we stated, freedom is not free. It comes at a price. It comes at the cost of being severely injured. Uh, it costs a life. It costs pain. It costs stress, even death, so that we have the right to freedom. Freedom is not free. Jesus, there's a difference between being free politically through policy, and then there's that difference of being spiritually free. Spiritually free. Where policy were set free, but the spirit of God. The word says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We are engaging in this celebration of our freedom on this day of independence. We recognize those of you who have taken on that responsibility, this awesome task of allowing us to remain free. They serve so that we did not have to. 
Thank you. We have been celebrating Independence Day uh, for years, and like Christmas, sometimes we lose the meaning of the day. The day of Independence, we'll have fireworks, uh, we'll have parades, but those who sacrifice their life, we need to put the emphasis on they, they that allowed us uh, to remain free. Jesus did the same. Jesus lost his life. Jesus lost his life so that we may have a right to the tree of life. And so we are thankful. Freedom, again, is not free. It came at the cost, it came at the price, it came even at the expense of our soldier's life, of Jesus' life. Communities will get together. Families will come together. There will be sparkles. Certainly, the meaning of Christmas is more than just presents under a tree. But it's up to us to share this information. Make no mistake about it, we love fireworks. We love a good parade. But we must keep in mind the sacrifices that were made. How many know that Jesus uh, sacrificed his life for us? Uh, we, 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 we are grateful he sacrificed his life uh, for us. We are, again, in verse 31, it says, Then Jesus said to the Jews, which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples. Continuing in his word. Not only hearing the word, but continuing in the word. He says that if you do this, then you are a follower, a disciple of mine. But what does he say? We must continue in the word. We can't start it and not complete it. We can, but then we are not what? We are not a disciple of Christ Jesus. The character of a true Christian, the character of a true disciple of Christ, as if you continue in my word. It's almost like being hearers of the word, but not doers of the word. We hear it, but we don't do it. We start it, but we, for whatever reason, life may take us uh, on different angles, but we don't uh, finish it. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, hey, Listen, lean not on your own understanding, but in all ways acknowledge my word. We continue in his word. So that what? We will be a true a disciple of Christ. If someone trespasses against us, if someone makes a mistake against us, if someone sins against us, what does the word say? We continue in his word now. The word says that what? That we are to forgive. That we are to forgive. Now, it, 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 it is not what I said, it is what the word said. But if we continue in his word, we have to be consistent and continue in his word. Father, forgive they that trespassed against me. Forgive them. Continuing in his word. And then what? What are we? We are now true followers, true, true disciples of Christ. Continuing in his word. Does Jesus give us the freedom to do whatever we want? Absolutely not. There are consequences. 
We do have choices, but he gives us uh, the freedom to follow him, to follow him. And that can be uh, a very uh, a challenging. But we are to follow God, not only follow God, but we are to follow him in his word. We are now disciples of Christ. The word of God says that in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God for there was nothing made that was what made without him. We are to follow Christ. We are to be disciplined enough where we can deny ourselves. Then we can duplicate his nature. His nature. That also this mindset that is in Christ Jesus be also in you. In you. This mindset, this following of Christ uh, in his word. There's a difference of being spiritually set free. Spiritually. The peace that comes with that. The joy that follows that. Has, have any of you ever been set free spiritually? You know, that bondage that we used to be in, that, 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 that smoking habit that we had, that, that, that cigarette habit that we had, that lying of tongue uh, that we had. Have any of you been set free? Set free from the bondages of life. We praise God for the peace that comes uh, with that. Sin has a way of dictating to us. It has a way of controlling us. Jesus can free us from that. It has a way of enslaving us, dominating us. I'm talking about sin. And so when we say that word sin is the missing of the mark, it's, it's something outside of the will and the word of God, sin. It keeps us from becoming the type of person God wants us to be. Not people, but it, God. God created us for a purpose. A purpose. And we need to identify uh, with that purpose. We have right now a particular situation going on. A war. Russia versus Ukraine. This war. Uh, I, I, at this point, praise be to God, but at this point I thought that Russia would have taken that over by now. But Ukraine is putting up a strong battle. But one is for control. The other one is for freedom. I want to control this situation. That other country says, I want to be free from your control. Everyone wants to be free. I can recall when there was a person that was locked up but not locked out of God's love and when they got released oh what a joyful time that they had people we want to be free freedom 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 again on this Independence Day it comes at a cost to be free from our sin nature to be free from our sin nature we do have the nature of sin, but to, even with that, positioning ourselves to take over. To take over outside of that sin nature. Stand firm, Forest Heights. Do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. God is a deliverer. He will deliver us out of a situation. God will deliver us from sin, but now what we need not do is to go back into that a situation. Once he delivers us, 
from that situation, be firm. Stand firm. The Bible says it's like a dog that returns to its vomit. Once it's out, it goes back. He will, if we remain in prayer, he will uh, deliver us. And I, <laughs> I speak from experience. I speak from experience. He has set those who are brokenhearted. He has announced to the captives that they will be set free and the prisoners will be released. He will, again, he will set us free. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? And I know I'm speaking to the choir, but it's people that may be outside of these walls that you can share information with. It's not necessarily you all that uh, uh, sit here today. I, I, I'm comfortable with that. But again, it's those that may not have this understanding, that they that may not have this information. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall what? The truth shall set you free. We can manipulate, we can maneuver, we can bounce around a situation, a story, but, or we can be truthful. I believe in the book of Galatians 4 and 16, it says, why now have I become your enemy? Uh, because I tell you the truth. Why have now, because I tell you the truth, have I become your enemy? So we must, but what? The truth will set you free. We must be truthful. Though we are in this world, we should not be what? Of this world. Trickery, deception, debauchery. To trick people. That's what they that are in the world, that's what they do. But we are outside of this world. Though we are in it, we are not of it. They answered him, we be Abraham's seed, and we were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou that ye shall be made free? It's not the physical type of slavery that God is talking about here. It's the enslavement to sin. To sin. To sin. It is not that which we know of, but it, in the sense of the physical aspect, but in the spiritual aspect. There's one thing to be set free by policy, politics. There's another thing to be set free by the spiritual aspect, to be set free by God, the spiritual aspect. Are you free? Do you know that you're free? We praise God for that. We praise God for the freedom. If you're not free, here's an opportunity to become free. Get a relationship. Know the relationship with Christ. Have Christ come into your heart. Have Christ come into your mind. Allow Christ. He doesn't want to force anybody. He doesn't want to force us on him. He gives us free will. Give Christ the opportunity to make you free. Not free from the policy, not free from the politics, but free on the spiritual aspect. The doors of the church are open. If you don't know, <clears throat> We would like to give you an opportunity to come forward. And to become a part of this church, if you are not already involved in the church, if we have any visitors here, we certainly welcome you to become a part. We want you to if not this church, then to become a part of a Bible-believing church. And we certainly welcome you here, but again, if not here, to some Bible 
a believing church. We welcome you here. Forest Heights is a good, it's a wonderful church. We're not a perfect church, but it is a good place to become a part of the family. We welcome you. For they that are on our social media, we can be reached at 301-839-1166. Allow God to set you free. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. The opportunity presents itself. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. Come. I have decided to follow if, Jesus. If we continue in His Word, if we continue, I have decided. To follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. We praise God, praise God. We are excited for the presence of two of our members, Russell Peterson and Poinsettia Peterson. We haven't seen you in uh, some time, but it is good. It is good to have you back in the household of faith. And Deacon Peterson, Deacon Peterson, God bless you. Might you address us? Might you share a word with us? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Miss Peterson? Give, yes, we give you traveling grace and the mercy of Christ. The mercy of Christ all over you, all over you. Thank you. It's so good to see you all. I haven't seen you in a while. And my, my couple over here, it's been a, been a month or so, but it's good to see you all. God bless you. God bless you. Good to see you. If all hearts and minds are clear, our benediction now unto him, now unto him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask and or imagine according to his purpose that is within us. To him be the glory and in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen.